But for thirty dollars, let's find out. We're gonna connect to amplifier and we'll see. You guys, Mike is back with another interesting uh, the product. Uh, as you know, I'm doing all kind of speakers and amplifiers review for the car audio. It's gonna be soon, very um, for the high-end speakers, right? Also, so uh, if you're new to my channel, definitely comment below what kind of speakers, what kind of comparison you want to see it, and what kind of product you want to do. It's because of you, the commenting, engaging my channel, and suggesting a lot of stuff. Sometimes I I, I don't know some. Uh, some simple stuff and you guys commenting and I learn from them. That's why it's my channel is get the in this uh, situation right now, right? So um, today we have an interesting, interesting company, uh, the Genius Audio. I just made the different video, the uh, Nadu magnet version uh, from Genius Audio. This is a ferrite magnet version and this is a cheap speaker. Only $29.99 right now is on Amazon, only eight left. But we're gonna find out it is a cheap is cheap or it is a cheap and it's way worth every single penny so uh, on my channel we saw so many stuff so many expensive speakers they way overrated way overpriced it and some speakers it was a uh, way cheap and they catching up with the price like all the dealers like jacking the price like double triple times all right Let's start that. Genius Audio, as I said on my previous video, if you watch it already, if you, if you knew, I'm gonna repeat again. So uh, they're in the 30 years in the market. market. So uh, these guys, uh, all the products, when you see it's nothing like uh, the most guys today, they, they, they're doing is like a rebanding, rebanding, rebranding, re repunching re all the names and they selling the same product for three times uh, more money. So this guy is like an in-house build uh, speaker so far because I, I didn't see um, any speakers uh, looks similar and for the, for the same price, right? Uh, if, you, if they're using like a different kind of manufacturing, the third party manufacturing, the price is like uh, it's unbelievable. So we're going to find out um, how much is this. This is how's the unboxing. So this guy is a 300 watt maximum power, 150 watt RMS power. Uh, it will play 135 to 8000 hertz. So, uh, bigger uh, brother, like Niagara Magnet version, this guy, I did the previous video, it plays uh, 200, a lot lower, but um, this guy, a lot higher. This guy is a lot lower. But again, uh, Genius uh, Audio Sticker, nice bracket, uh, exactly the same um, SPL diagram, and the uh, mounting, uh, M mounting measurements so you guys can see this is SPL uh, more flat flatter than the previous one so this is the speaker itself uh, that's how you unbox speakers and uh, from, from the first seeing um, as I said before like a six or seven months ago I made the smaller version, a Niagara Magnet version, and I was impressed how the sound quality for the price, for the price, exactly the same uh, diagram, same paper, uh, maybe the same cone. And as you can see, when, when you see the cone, it sits exactly in the middle. So many uh, bullet speakers, it was a cone, it was a shift on the one side to the other. So manufacturer does that, you know. Uh, but this guy, so far, it's like, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna test the other ones. Uh, this mounting, uh, the, the, the horse, it uh, reminds me of Rockford Fosgate or um, American bass speakers, right? And it's good side, you're not gonna have only four, you can have a lot more, so you can fit just a factory place. And uh, this is the shallow mount speaker with the huge magnet. And uh, push terminals a lot smaller than other companies. This is, I think, it's 18 gauge or 16 gauge. Uh, but it's more than enough to run the 300 watt um, the music power output. Uh, G Pro Audio, nice uh, the bedding, it's, everything it's, looks uh, fit and finish is good. But for thirty dollars, let's find out. We're gonna connect to amplifier and we'll see. All right, amplifier is connected, so we're gonna run DJ Rat uh, composition called Trip to Nowhere. This is a new guy. It's like editing a lot of. Uh, 
um, a lot of music, they're creating a lot of music, so I'm gonna use his, uh, one of the music. If you want more music like this, if you like his music, like I do, a lot of, you know, the bass, a lot of, a lot of travels, definitely I put on the description all the way down there on his channel, so follow him up and, you know, we're gonna always help each other. I will run on the lowest volume, so we we'll see the quality, the first. mid-range so we're gonna adjust we're gonna adjust the amplifier for the full range so we'll see um, let, let me tune it back it's gonna be full range sound and th this thing is, gets loud that this is the speaker test music and push your your eardrums <laughs> let me play the different song from the same guy he made some uh, nice mix we'll see it's a lot of tweeters and a lot of a lot of bass Okay, I'm gonna connect uh, later. Now that I'm, I'm giving the full range, that's why it's a lot of bass. You're never gonna give that much bass for the mid-range speaker, but I do every time on my channel, no matter what, even the Twitters, I I do the bass test. This is my channel, right? So, uh, we're gonna tune the 130 hertz, exactly whatever uh, this says, 135, but we're gonna tune what? Okay, we tune 138 hertz, so um, you, you can tune a lot higher, like 150 or 180, uh, it's gonna be much better. For 138, whatever they say, 135, uh, and we'll run the same music with the tuned frequency, and we'll see what's gonna happen. Start the tape now. Like, oh, Mike, you can't, you can't, you can't 
review the speaker without the installing them. If you're new to my channel, yeah, it's more most obvious. Uh, a lot of guys is taping ones that they they watching the first video, right? I do the install install when the speaker is worth it to installation and run the future video. Um, the, a lot of speakers that doesn't go for the for the next uh, next round. That's why I don't install them on the box. Uh, for this guy specific for thirty dollars twenty nine ninety five right here on my on my screen twenty nine ninety five. Um, I hope <laughs> it's only one left. Um, they're gonna they they coming more so they they're gonna. Um, it's gonna be available on the Amazon so you can Amazon Prime so you can order uh, I put the links on the description definitely worth every single penny for this speaker for $30 uh, something like this performing uh, let me add the Twitter so you guys gonna see what I'm talking about Find out here. It's only thirty dollars, and on this volume, a lot of speakers start to, you know, smelly. Not this guy. <laughs> this guy handles perfect. Um, I don't know what kind of materials they guys use. If you guys a dealer of this guy or whatever is that you're using this guy, if you have more information, just you know, comment below what you guys think about this product. Um, what the price range should, should be for the for this kind of product? It's like thirty dollars. You see that difference, right? Um, you can hear it. I'm sure you can hear it, but it's uh, YouTube always compressing the sound output. But this guy is a lot fuller, like uh, more details. But this guy is <laughs> a lot louder, and uh, the tones you want it for the mid-range speaker is producing really, really nice. And it's again, it's 30 bucks. And it's good. So yeah, as in, as you can see, uh, even you use the, you know, the one of the best. Uh, six by nine speakers, you take it off them, you're gonna lose the bass because you're running the subwoofer, so you don't need the bass from the six by nine. You slap these guys, and you're gonna see the huge improvement of the sound, uh, the loudness, right? Because sensitivity is like a 98 on these guys, and it's gonna be produced exactly mid-range, out loud. So you need some kind of uh, the tweeters, like a nicer tweeter, not, not the dome, like a stock tweeters. You're gonna add the, some nicer tweeters, and you're gonna see all the same price with the Twitter. You're gonna see like a 70% the sound output like for for the di different level. And that's it. This is my review, guys. Uh, impression, first impressions and unbox is a really good speaker. I'm gonna run with the different, a lot of different speakers. These guys, I'm gonna compare with them. Uh, definitely uh, keep eye on it. And th th this is this is a good speaker for thirty dollars. Of course, this price is gonna go up. Around, they're gonna start selling around like a four forty dollar range, but this is worth it for every single penny now. All right, I'm out. Uh, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Watch my other videos. I'm gonna run different experiments.